and welcome to our channel. This is my first video and I'm going to be making a cheesecake. Um, it's a no-bake cheesecake and it was a recipe that my mum used to use and it's amazing. So, uh, first of all, I have already measured out all the ingredients that we're going to need. We have 130 grams of butter that I have melted. 320 grams of biscuits. Now the recipe calls for digestives but um, I decided to have a change and I'm using chocolate chip hobnobs and one chocolate covered digestive because I ran out. We have 500 grams of soft cheese and 100 grams of caster sugar and 300 ml of double cream. So firstly we need to grind up the biscuits, mix in the melted butter and basically press the base in. So Okay, so as you can see we have biscuit crumbs and into that I am going to mix our melted butter. I'm going to put that in the fridge and move on to the next step. Okay, so our next step is to whisk up the cream and then we will add the cheese and the sugar and whisk it all together. Okay, so basically the battery ran out on my camera so I'm going to have to finish this off on my phone. Um, this is what you want your cream to look like, the consistency of it um, when you finish mixing it. And then to that we're going to add the cheese and the sugar, whisk it all together and then put it into the bowl on top of our biscuit base. Okay, so my cream, my sugar and my soft cheese is in there. I'm going to whisk it all together and then be right back. And as you can see we now have everything mixed together and our base back out of the fridge. So I'm going to put all of this in there and then smooth it all off. And I have a spatula just to make sure I get everything out. And basically we have a very fluffy, tasty, wonderful cheesecake. So I'm going to finish up doing this and then I also have some jam which I have blitzed in the microwave for about 30 to 40 seconds um, basically just so it's of a more runny consistency. I am going to be putting that on top of the cheesecake and swirling it in just to give it you know a different flavour. Okay so 
is our cheesecake um, and I'm just going to put bits of jam around like so, doesn't really matter where it goes I don't want too much now I think this recipe came out of a recipe book um, I'm not sure whose but basically it called for a lot more sugar than we use and it's basically just been adapted over time because it's just a plain cheesecake I don't even think it's vanilla I think it's just cheesecake and you know you can put fruit in it you can put whatever you want really I think I've made like a, a chocolate version of this before and many different fruit flavours this is just strawberry jam um, and basically that's it we are going to put it in the fridge let it set for a few hours and it's ready to go uh, so thank you for watching my first video and next time i will definitely make sure my camera battery is charged enough and i hope to see you guys again thanks for watching and yeah goodbye